You've got $50,000 to work with, and you're hoping to get some multifamily properties with a cash-on-cash cash return of at least 10%. Spicy Chili, this is your video. Let's dive in. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, Holden Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. Hey, real estate investors, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. Of course, in front of the camera, we got me, your host, James Wise. Behind the scenes, bringing you guys all the action is my main man, Tommy. So, Tom, you know how every time we do one of these search and analysis videos, I give the you know the clients like a list of questions, and on there one of them is uh, I ask them what they'd like me to call them, right? Right. Because you know, like not everybody they don't want their uh, you know they don't want their information. Some people don't want their information on YouTube for like you know everyone else, thousands of people viewing it to know exactly who they are. So most people they uh, they pick like you know their name and the city they're from, like you know Bill from. Uh, I don't know, Bill from Sacramento, California, or something like that, right? Uh, not this chick, though, dude. She uh, she wanted me to call her Spicy Chili from California. That's uh, a little different. She definitely wants to stand out. Yeah, no, that's different. I didn't I didn't really know how I wanted to do that teaser of the video. I, just, I didn't know if I just wanted to be like, Spicy Chili, this is your video, and then everyone else is just like, what the fuck did he just say? <laughs> But uh, yeah, dude, that's how I rolled with it. So spicy chili. Her name's not actually spicy chili, guys. But uh, that that's what we're rolling with. So spicy chili from uh, California. Also, just so you guys know, like if you do something like you want to be called like Jack Me Off from Denver, I'm I'm probably not gonna roll with that. Just just so you know, I'm I'm smarter than the average bear. So don't try to do anything like that to me. But spicy chili. Let's get into this, okay? What? Uh oh. By the way, guys, so Tom doesn't have to uh, keep putting sales at HoltonWise.com. We got him a sign so he doesn't have to edit that in post-edit. I just can't punch the table. Okay, so lightly punching the table. Spicy chili. Based on my conversations with you, you are looking for a B or C class asset. You're looking for multifamily. You're hoping for uh, as big as possible. Duplex triplex quad preferably triplex or quad if you can get that you have fifty thousand dollars to work with and a budget of hundred fifty thousand dollars so we'll be able to use the fifty thousand as your down payment and we can go up to a hunt this is gonna piss me off tom we're gonna have to figure something out with this by the way guys if you need to email me it's sales at holtonwise.com i'm gonna put that down for right now uh that's gonna drive me nuts man all right, so you have a budget of $150,000. We have $50,000 down. You are not looking for Section 8, and the big thing is you want to make sure you make at least 10% on your money. I think you're going to be incredibly excited with this video, Spicy Chili, because not one, but both of the properties I have are going to more than double that cash-on-cash cash return for you. So I'm going to start things off with the property, with which actually has the highest cash-on-cash. Cash. Uh, but I want you to know, this property is going to come out with a higher cash-on-cash cash than the second property we're going to get into. But I actually think the second property is the better property for you, and I will explain why. But for now, let's just start things off with this property. 3348 West 82nd, Cleveland, Ohio. 44102. This is listed at $64,900. Let me make that bigger for you. Can we see that? Tom, can we see that? Is that looking good on the camera? Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. So here's what we got. Now, there we go. How's that? That better? That's a lot better. Okay. All right. Can't move it, though. Okay. All right. Sorry. They, uh, this is the MLS listing from the other real estate agent. So based on the fact that there's like, uh, 
the way these pictures are super small, I assume they like copied the photos from like a previous listing they must have had. You could tell because it looks like we got the watermark and I think we have a second watermark, but that's no big deal. It's still going to give us the information. What we're looking at here, okay, we're not looking at anything special. You're just seeing what the unit looks like. You know, this is what an occupied C-class unit looks like. You know, nothing special. The, the photos aren't that great, but, like, we could still see they have decent woodwork, right? Like, the woodwork, this is in pretty nice condition. Truth be told, all of these duplexes are more or less in the same condition. This is your classic duplex in the Cleveland market built around the 1920s. You know, on the front, you have the living room. In the middle, you have the dining room uh in the back you have the kitchen you got the bedrooms on the side now <clears throat> this particular unit there's nothing like super special about it uh when you actually turn these over you know you're gonna have to do like a decent turnover uh budget you know you're gonna spend a little bit of money turning these things over you know probably uh maybe like at least 5k per unit because we're gonna want to make them a little bit you know more modern um, and we'll be able to increase the rent, but for what we have right now, it's pretty good, and you're going to be able to just roll with it. Uh, let me go back real quick, too. I just pulled up the hot water tank. There's your, there's a picture of one of the hot water tanks. I didn't see another one. I would say that hot water tank is, I don't know, probably somewhere in the 10-year range, if I had to guess just what it looks like. They typically last about 15 years. They cost about $1,000 to replace. I will get into that when I go over your budget, though. These are your furnaces, forced air furnaces. These are probably, you know, something that may be installed in the late 80s, 90s, something like that. These things will last you roughly 30 years. Okay, two updated electrical panels. And then there's, a, you know, a picture of the front of the house. So that is the house. Nothing special uh, until we actually get into the numbers. Then it's pretty freaking awesome. Currently, both those tenants are paying $650 a month. So that is $1,300 a month or fifteen thousand six hundred dollars a year now you're not going to keep that fifteen thousand six hundred dollars of course we've got costs let's get into that repairs and maintenance i have estimated that at approximately seven hundred eighty dollars a year or sixty five dollars a month that does not mean every single month you're going to spend that amount of money that is an average that's averaging things like when you have these tenants turn over every like three years or something like that say like these folks they moved out after three years you're probably not doing too many repairs while they're in there but then you're going to do that several thousand dollar turnover so we're you know factoring that in we have to save that for a rainy day because you can't just assume that's cash flow because it's not because eventually there will be a turnover and then speaking of that turnover we have to account for the fact that they're not actually paying rent when you're turning them over or um you know if you have to evict them so that's where the vacancy and not payment of rent we're also going to calculate another 780 as far as capital expenditures that's your large ticket items right so that hot water tank i mentioned it costs a thousand bucks roughly to replace one of those and you're going to have to replace them like clockwork around every 15 years sure you'll get one that'll last a little bit longer sometimes maybe you'll get one that's a few years shorter but we can't just assume uh, that the money you're bringing in every month is all cash flow because we know eventually you'll have to replace those water tanks. Same thing with the furnaces. Those last roughly 30 years, okay? The furnaces uh, in the photos, they're probably somewhere in the 10 to 20 year range, I would imagine. Um, you're going to need to replace those eventually, right, when they get to end of life. So that cost is going to be roughly $3,000 per furnace. And then you have, like, the roof, like a roof on a property this size. That's probably a six or $7,000 roof. So we got to factor all that in. So we're factoring another seven eighty because, you know, it's going to be a whole lot of nothing. And then one year, boom, $7,000 for a roof. So we're going to calculate for that. Taxes, 118 bucks a month. Insurance, uh, my team, we could actually insure this for you. So if you click the show notes uh, below, there's going to be a link to get to uh, our insurance page where we can actually quote you. Um, my associate, Kevin Hogue, he will handle that for you. We should be approximately $80 a month, but he will have to get you the exact quote. Uh, our whole thing with our insurance firm is what we do is we sell it to, you know, the various large providers, and we actually just look for the lowest possible uh, monthly premium because we know you guys are just looking for the ROI. You don't need any crazy riders or anything of that nature. So it's an insurance company based only on working with investors. So we pretty much beat out 
everybody else's uh, premium prices because we shop it around and we know what you guys want. You want basic landlord fire policies that are also going to have a pretty high liability, at least 300 k in case there's ever an injury uh, at one of your properties. It keeps you safe, but it keeps your premiums low, keeps your ROI high. So show notes below. Click that. Kevin will take care of you. Water sewer estimate, 150. That could go up, could go down. It's based on how much water sewer the tenants use. Uh, there's no scenario where you can't, um, where you have to, uh, there's no scenario where you get to pass that off to the tenants, right? You as a landlord, you're going to have to pay the water sewer here in Cleveland. If you have questions about that, go ahead and hop onto the property management fact at HoltonWise.com, and I got a whole explanation for why that is. So and I don't want to burn time here. Just take a look at that. Lawn care, it's going to average out to 44 bucks a month. We cut the grass roughly 16 times a year at $33 a cut here in the Cleveland market. We're not cutting in January, February, things of that nature when there's snow on the ground, but that's going to be your uh, approximate monthly cost when you average it out. And then my favorite of all expenses, the property management fees. That should be $130 a month. So on average and factoring in for those capital expenditures, things of that nature, those big ticket items, we should estimate that $770. $17 of that 1300 you're bringing in is going to be used operating the property, which leads you with an NOI of $583 or $6,996 a month. Now, taking this further, you had $50,000 cash, okay, and this is a $65,000 property. You have a budget of $150,000, so obviously you're going to use that as a down payment to get a loan. Um, so if you do that, you're only going to need to actually spend 16225 of your dollars to get the loan. You have a $48,000 mortgage. Your payment's nothing, two forty six dollars a month. That's going to leave you, after you pay off your mortgage, a net cash flow after paying that bad boy off, three thirty seven dollars a month, or on average $4,044 a year, which pencils out to a... 25% cash on cash return. You are welcome, Spicy Chili. You asked me to deliver 10, I delivered 15, and we're still in a C-class neighborhood. Now, I like the other property better. Um, what I do like about this is the numbers are great. You already got tenants in there. Uh, we got word from the listing agent that those leases are good, like into 2020. So they were like one year leases, um, and you know they have varying uh, le levels of months left, right? Like one was good, like midway through 2020. I think the other was like maybe like April or something. Um, so for all intents and purposes, you don't need to have any other costs other than your down payment going into this property. Now, again, going back to the photos, like. Nothing looks like super spectacular inside these units. Like these are not like incredibly nice units. They didn't even give us a picture of the kitchen and the bath. So I would anticipate that the kitchen and bath are kind of dated. So whenever these tenants do move out, I, I would want to spend probably at least $5,000 in each of these units, uh, making them look nice. And then Holton Wives can also quote you on doing premium upgrades. But the cool thing is uh, if we do premium upgrades, uh, in these uh, units like this on these West Side Cleveland properties, we'd actually get your rent up to $750 a month. So you're bringing in $1,300, which is great. You'd never want to remove these tenants. Keep them in there at $650 as long as possible. But when you do get turnovers, let's do a nice turnover, and we could actually get that up another 100 bucks per unit. So this this bad boy, man, this sucker is a freaking earner for you and uh, i don't know if i mentioned it but it's listed by a company out here called reds realty now let's go to a uh, word from the sponsor of today's show and i will get into the second property for you which is going to have a lower cash on cash return but i think spicy that is actually the better property based in indianapolis indiana fs houses is the premier investment property brokerage with an in-house property management department that can take care of all those unwanted landlord headaches, FS Houses can offer you the complete turnkey solution as well as wholesale properties offered to you at a discounted rate. With a network of thousands of active investors, wholesalers, and brokers, FS Houses can help you sell your property for top dollar on the open market or in a hurry to motivated investors seeking distressed real estate. Visit FSHouses.com or call 317-492-9025 for more information on the Indianapolis, Indiana real estate.
Holton Wise has a worldwide audience of real estate investors. If you are a lender, home inspector, or anyone else with a real estate related business who would like to increase your sales and exposure with an ad in one of our videos, go to HoltonWise.com today. All right, Spicy, welcome back. Now let's get into the second one. 3764 Washington Park Boulevard, Newburgh Heights, 44105. This is another duplex. Uh, just so you know, there really wasn't any triplexes or quads um, that fit your criteria. So that's why both of these are duplexes. I know you were looking for the uh, triplex or quad, um, assuming because, you know, you're looking for the higher return. But these by far were the best ones on the market. Uh, that's the thing to note about the Cleveland market. We have like a ton of single family homes. And then we got a ton of duplexes, very, very low amount of inventory of triplexes and quads. So when those things actually do pop on the market, Y'all are going to have to jump on those quickly because we do not have a lot of those. But I think with the cash on cash return of the, the last duplex, I don't think you should even really be worried about that. Now, I like this one better. It's going to have a cash on cash return that's similar, but it is um, going to be just slightly lower. However, I think the property is nicer, and uh, I actually think the neighborhood is a little bit nicer. I have both of these uh, listed as C-class. But I think this one is a little bit nicer of a C-class neighborhood. I'm just trying to adjust my uh, microphone cord. Okay, I'm all set. Sorry. Let's take a look at the photos. See, this is just this is just a nice property, man. That's just that's that's just nice. See, this is in a Newburgh Heights, right? Part of the reason that that's so nice is because Newburgh Heights has a incredibly strict point of sale uh, requirement. And for anybody that's watching Spicy, if you <laughs> that's throwing me off, man, Spicy Chili. <laughs> uh, if you're not familiar um, with what a point of sale uh, is, certain municipalities in the Cleveland market, not actually the city of Cleveland itself. So like the previous property did not have this. But some of our suburbs we have here in the Cleveland market, like Newburgh Heights, Garfield Heights, Euclid, Lakewood used to have one. They no longer have one. Uh, Brooklyn and uh, Brooklyn has one. Um, there's a very, you know, a few of them that do, some don't. But what they do is they have a point of sale requirement. So when a seller sells a property, they have to bring the city out before they're allowed to transfer, and the city is going to issue violations, building code violations for things that they don't like. The seller then has to clear those all off, or the buyer, which would be you, can assume those, but you'll have to put money in escrow. So say there's $10,000 worth of repairs, they will make you put $10,000 with them, and then you'll have to spend a separate $10,000 fixing them after you take uh, possession of the property, take title to the property, and then and only then once you've spent a different set of money fixing the repairs, the city's going to come out, reinspect. If they give you the go-ahead, they will then give you back your original money. And if you don't do all this in the time that they allot you, they could issue uh, building code violations, which are minor misdemeanors. So sometimes it's a pain in the ass, but sometimes it could work for your benefit. What it does is it keeps uh, the properties uh, much better maintained, and Garf or Newburgh's is rather um, strict, but that's good for you because all of the properties. Newburgh is a very, very small little village. I think there's only like 15 streets. Okay, now it's in the 44105 zip code too. Just so you know, 44105 as far as that zip code. If it's 44105 in Cleveland proper, I don't like that neighborhood. Before we go into these photos, let me show you what I'm talking about. So if you click on, let me click on the map view for you. Okay, let me stretch this out. So you are here, right? This is you. This is your house, right? Newburgh Heights. This is Newburgh, just this tiny little section right here. This this little this little, you know, somewhere up in here. Not even all of this is actually Newburgh, but like some of this is Newburgh, okay? Very, very tiny. This is patrolled by a ton of police, and it's super, super nice. It's got the 44105 zip code. If you were to go over here, like you start getting in the South Broadway area, this part of Cleveland also has the 44105 zip code, and that is an F-class neighborhood. That is not good. So don't just assume that if you find something in 44105, it's going to be C-class, because that's not the case. It's C-class in Newburgh. I like it in Newburgh, but if you find something in 44105, uh, with a Cleveland address, I think it's probably going to be F class. So that's very important. Cleveland doesn't have that point of sale, and then that part of Cleveland is just rather rough. 
Um, so that is part of the reason why when you see these exterior photos in Newburgh, like you don't see any peeling paint. You don't see anything. They're, they're super strict on the exterior. Like everybody's got just nice vinyl sided stuff. You don't see any tuck pointing issues uh, with your bricks. They're super strict on like driveways, concrete cracking. And the seller, he's actually selling this to you point of sale violation free. Uh, that's why this is such a good deal, man. This property is just in really good repair. That's part of the reason I really like it. And you're not going to have to worry about upfront costs. So here's some of the inside. Now, this is after his, uh, you know, turnover renovation, his last turnover renovation. He has tenants in here. Just another shot of the neighborhood. You could just tell, like, it's just very well kept. It's super, super nice, man. Like, Newburgh is a C-class neighborhood, I'll say, but if we're comparing these two neighborhoods between um, the Cleveland property that I also consider C-class um, and this one, I would say this is much closer to B. This is very, very high C. So just the neighborhood quality um, and just the actual condition of the property itself, that's why I prefer this property. And the numbers, they're not as nice on paper, but they're still pretty damn good. So let's get into those. The upstairs rented at seven seventy five. The other unit rented at seven and a quarter. So we're bringing in a lot more rent out of this one. We're bringing in fifteen hundred or eighteen thousand a year. Uh, we don't have to put any money up front because, as I said, we got those two tenants in there. He sh we showed you the photos that uh, w was there before the current seller put his tenants in there. Now they're in there, so you don't have to worry about that. You don't have to worry about the POS. So you got no upfront costs. Uh, it's only going to be your down payment. As far as your monthly cost, we'll just roll through this quickly because we just went over it with the previous property, but I've anticipated a total monthly expense estimate for you of 802. So that's going to leave you with an NOI of 698 a month or $8,376 a year. Okay, that means that this property is penciling on as a 9.9 .9 cap. You're only going to need to put in $21,225 because, remember, no POS issues to worry about, no repairs prior to your tenants. It's going to give you a $322 mortgage. Your net cash flow after mortgage is $376 a month or $4,512 a year, which pencils out to a 21.26% cash-on-cash return. Not as high as the other one, which was 25 but that property... Not in as good condition, and also the neighborhood is slightly lower. So, Spicy Chili, you have $50,000 to work with. Now, with your $50,000, you could actually pick up both of these because you only need sixteen dollars uh, for three three four eight, and then you only need twenty one dollars for three seven six four Washington. So that brings you to a total. Let's just give the exact total here, $16,000. 225 plus 21,225. That is $37,450. So we're able to get you not one, but two properties with the amount of money you have. And we still have roughly $13,000 left over. And you're more than doubling your desired cash on cash return. So I would imagine. Uh, that you are pretty pleased with this analysis. So if you would like to buy one or both of these properties, remember, if you're going to just buy one, I would get the one in Newburgh Heights. I like that one better. But I think the, the one in Cleveland on the west side is still very nice as well. So I think you should buy them both. And if you want to buy them both, you can either reach out to those listing agents. The, the second property, the one in Newburgh Heights, that was listed by a brokerage called Team Results. Uh, and then the first one in Cleveland on 82nd Street, that was listed by Reds Realty. I've worked with Reds several times. I, I know the uh, CEO over there at Reds. We've done several deals together. As far as team results go, I have never actually heard of those folks before. Um, so that is a, uh, a brand new experience. That one was actually a like a flat fee type listing or something. I believe the seller himself just paid them a flat fee for them to actually list it on the MLS. They offered a buyer's agent commission and then... Um, you don't actually deal with the real estate agent. You deal with the seller directly. So uh, I don't think it is in your best interest to go. If you want to go direct, you could go direct on the 82nd property. Talk to Reds if you need to. But for this one, I wouldn't recommend you go direct. I think you need some type of real estate agent involved in the deal. So I would recommend you definitely reach out to my team uh, for that. We could represent you on one or both properties. 
Uh, as we talked about earlier at the show, I got this new thing so Tommy doesn't have to edit in the email address post-edit. Turns out that takes a lot of time, and it's just a pain in the ass. So if you want to make an offer or one or both, hit us up, sales at holtonwise.com. You will get access to myself and my personal team of assistants. We will help you write the offer, negotiate the offer, schedule your uh, third-party inspections because even though you paid for this analysis, you know I'm just looking at everything from my studio here. I have not physically been to the property. That's you know this particular product. If you want my team to physically go to the property during the analysis, we can, but obviously that's a more expensive prof, uh, product. Anybody who's not familiar with what I'm talking about, go to HoltonWise.com, click the MLS Search and Analysis tab, and you'll see all the products and the varying prices. Um, but even if you get the one where we do show up at the property, none of that um, <clears throat> is going to replace getting a third-party home inspection. Um, we have referrals to home inspectors, too, so we can give you those. Or you can hire any home inspector you want, and my team will be able to actually coordinate all of that, get them into these properties for you, and then we could talk about your inspection after the fact and go back and forth with the sellers if anything needs to happen. So, uh, Spicy Chili, thank you for getting the analysis. That's everything I've got for you. For everyone else who's watching Spicy Chili's video, if this is the first time you've ever watched anything here on Holton Wise TV, do yourself a favor and smash that subscribe button. Do me a favor, smash that like button. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, Holton Wise, we can handle the property management, We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. Property management is a lot more than just placing tenants and collecting rent. Who you work with can be as or even more important than the properties themselves. With over 60 years of cumulative experience, the principles of Evergrow Property Management have one of the most tried and tested property management businesses in the Indianapolis, Indiana market. Armed with the latest technology and a full range of property management services, including property evaluations, tenant screening, rent collection, maintenance, legal compliance, and eviction services. Evergrow Property Management is the top property management choice of rental property owners, turnkey providers, and real estate agents in the Indianapolis, Indiana market. Visit evergrowpm.com for more information. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies, but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, 
Fulton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video, just like this one, to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.